Good evening, Namaskar. Welcome to the Plan B Show. Today, again, the focus is on the healthcare sector, the sector which has taken a lot of breath away in the last one year. We have with us Jyotsna Sharma, Senior Editor at Business World. Jyotsna, Namaskar. How are you? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's been quite a year, hasn't it? Um, the year gone by has been very tough on various aspects and of course, um you know health care health care is one sector which has taken away everybody's attention people have gone more hygienic from using more sanitizers to allocating more budget more of their households budget household budget towards the health care towards their own health or maybe their family's health no uh, right, Jusna, right. absolutely right just you have i mean you have seen a lot of ups and downs in this sector and you also analyzed this sector over the last one year what is your assessment of this sector as of now where does it where does it stand in the scheme of things so you know um what i would say is that the pandemic of course it's been the largest healthcare and economic crisis that has been faced by us uh, by humanity really so you know it it did bring out the cracks in our healthcare system what it did also i feel abinav is that it kind of showed us how important uh, digital is or you know like i'm not talking just telemedicine but it did help a lot uh, in you know delivering care in the time of need and um, you know going forward like of course i know that um, you know like you're going to ask me now the, about the budget expectations that the sector has we the government does have the national digital health mission and you know the scheme if uh, optimally run they say is can afford us an advantage of 200 billion dollars or, or over the next 10 years and it is a very important scheme and it's a great great initiative by the government um and like i was saying the digital not just telemedicine but the entire ecosystem that is where our focus mm. should be that is where our push should be um you know at the moment we are our spending on healthcare is about uh 1.5 1.6% and of course i mean it is meant to go up to 2.5 what i would say is that you know we need to get on with it and move towards that um and for that we do need a lot more sort of public private uh partnership um you know we'll have to give more uh, incentives to the private sector yeah um and the countries that have you know that have uh, you we've seen that the countries where there's a robust healthcare system they have been able to uh, deal with this kind of a pandemic this kind of a crisis much better so if you think that the government will uh, reach to 1.5% of the gdp and spending that on healthcare uh, what are you, what do you think are the steps needed is it uh, smart digitization of our health data is it more privatization is it spending on infrastructure especially the government infrastructure what what do you think are the prime priorities should be the prime priorities of the government if they want to reach 2.5% of the spendings of the gdp towards it is that there are a lot of things where there's a lot of want at the moment there are many areas that we need to sort of uh, we need to better um of course infrastructure is one okay there is uh, education then there is uh, you know we import we still import so much of our medical equipment what we need to do is move away from that of course last year we had a 5% cess on it and that kind of helped matters in a way but we need to start doing all of that here at home we need to manufacture medical devices here we need to invest more in terms of research facilities education training of doctors um you know we need to look after simple enough things like for instance this is a very small thing that i'm going to say but um i think it's very important so even things like uh, compensation say for the nurses and support staff uh, considering the job that they do i think that needs to be revised and it needs to be looked into um so even these small things come into play in addition to all the other things that we've just discussed um 
then there is a big aspect of preventive care i think we need okay. to focus on that because see mm-hmm. even a disease like cancer and a lot of all these diseases can be prevented if at the first stage the preventive care is done well and mm-hmm. is taken care of so if we have centers across the country where this is done then you know uh, a patient when he walks into a facility a healthcare facility or a hospital he is critically unwell and so therefore mm. our doctors their time is spent on treating him mm. the first stage is already taken care of and that takes the pressure off them the other aspect i think is also of holistic well being you know mm. um, i do believe that you know uh, it needs to be integrated into our school into our university into our um, you know where we work into our employment as well so you know for instance like um, uh, just a simple thing like the hr pro of every company calls you from time to time to let you know that okay these are the new um, you know initiatives in the organization mm-hmm. similarly there should be something that we create uh, where well being whether it's mental well being physical well being is it is a part of your daily life it's some it's like you're checking in so you think that there will be extra spending by the government this year uh, there on health care there, there will be there should be there should be we are expecting hmm. that uh, that should happen so yeah these are various uh, sort of there's so many aspects of it hmm. so yeah okay one one last point do you think there will be some special focus on the mental health this year because mental health has been focused on especially in the last one year considering the uh, suicide of high profile celebrities uh do you think mental health will find special mention in the budget this year or maybe in allocation uh, well from the conversation that i have had with a number of experts everybody is hoping that that will be a focus it should be a focus and like i said that not just you know even corporates organizations schools and universities need to take this aspect into a uh, sort of cognizance and make it a part of their um, you know in the entire system maybe to integrate it into that and more dialogue needs to be there uh, of course a lot of people have started talking about it this not that much stigma around it anymore so people are speaking about it but i think there needs to be more of a dialogue more of a dialogue dialogue and hope i think these are the two key parallels which we draw from our conversation with jyotsna and they are probably needed for healthcare jyotsna thank you so much